Labor has infuriated unions by allowing the country's richest person to import foreign workers. Gina Reinhart will bring 1,700 foreigners to Australia so they can work on a massive mining project. The government approved the historic deal, enraging union leaders who call it sheer lunacy. George Roberts reports from Canberra. Laying out the welcome mat for foreign dignitaries. Uh, Mr President, you're very welcome indeed. And making top-level small talk with the Portuguese leader. That is amazing. It's other foreign arrivals that have the labour movement dumbfounded. I'm not normally lost for words, but frankly I just still can't, can't get my head around what political genius thought this is a good idea. Labor's allowing 1,700 foreign workers to come ashore. They'll work on Gina Reinhart's multi-billion dollar Roy Hill mining project in Western Australia. What we're doing here is ensuring projects can be built on time and on budget. It's the first deal of its kind. This is a big win for Gina Reinhart. It's a big win for Clive Palmer. It's a big win for T Twiggy Forest. I mean, I thought we were actually attacking these guys at the moment. Whose side are we on? Adding to the frustration... Our focus today is on Australian jobs. The deal was announced as Julia Gillard's manufacturing crisis meeting convened. A massive kick in the guts to those 130,000 workers in the manufacturing industry who have lost their jobs since 2008. Not so, says the government. It's adamant the positions are only for jobs that can't be filled by skilled Australian workers. Now, in relation to this project, it's in the Pilbara. The Pilbara is a great place, but it's not for everybody. There are 30 other projects that could qualify for similar deals, but they will face opposition. It's not just the trade unions that are spitting chips. Some in the Labor caucus are equally furious. One told the ABC the decision's horrendous. And if being wealthy is a skill, the government's rewarding that too. It's offering to fast-track residency for foreigners who've got $5 million to invest in Australia. George Roberts, ABC News, Canberra.